think doing research under sail is special because we're reducing our impact, we're using the wind, and we're just really connecting with the environment. We have no information on marine mammals here, and what we're doing now is collecting just the first insights as to where they are and who they are, what species we'll encounter. Studying with marine mammals is uh, expensive, it's difficult, it's, uh, you, you need a lot of time, um, so, so it's really difficult, especially for the de developing countries. Uh, that's why there is nothing published about marine mammals here, countrywide. So what we're doing is going out on a boat, doing transects across different areas of Belize that we haven't covered, looking for animals, and when we find them, taking pictures, collecting genetic samples, trying to get behavioral observations with the drone, and record their sounds with a hydrophone. My name is Christy Ashley Collum, and I'm Eric Fink City saw over 100 dolphins with the drone. And that's just really incredible to see the grandeur of the population out here. And once we listen to the vocalizations, we'll have a better idea about what the repertoire is. And this is a species that has had very limited research as well, so we don't really know a lot about how they communicate. I've been uh, living out on the island now for 16 years. Yeah, I'm assisting the researchers and you know, doing their research in all different kind of marine lives. So, so far we have a lot of different samples, you know, from uh, bottlenose dolphins, you know, spotted dolphins, you know, so that's, that's pretty good, you know, something that's never really been done in these areas. In order to manage our natural resources, we need to know them. But to do that, we need to start from scratch, with basic research. For example, how large are the populations? How many species are there? How old are they? What is their distribution? So this is the kind of data we're gathering. And we can use that to start to build a picture of whether these, the species in this area are at risk of impacts from human activity or climate change related effects. And we can actually use the genetic information we've gathered coupled with the other data to make a case for why they might need more protection. Dolphins and whales are uh, very good indicators of the status of the ecosystem in general. They are top predators, so they are able to accumulate a lot of toxins and contaminants, and etc. So if we know how uh, concentrated they have the, these contaminants, we can know how is our ecosystem in general. And this is very important for, for human health too. I am really excited about this partnership between Hello Ocean and the Moorings. It's a really great opportunity to, to further scientific research for the ocean to do that important work. In partnering with us, uh, they have an opportunity to expand the amount of scientific research that they can do on an annual basis to try to make a real impact in the scientific community. Uh, and that's very exciting for us to be a part of that. Everything that we're finding right now is new and exciting and no one's reported it in the scientific literature that we know that people have seen it but it gives us the ability to say this in a systematic way for the first time and be able to advocate for the protection of animals in an area that doesn't have it yet. Our goal with this expedition is to provide passionate early career scientists with an opportunity to take their research to the next level in a way that they otherwise couldn't. This research will make a difference.